Sinead O'Connor left a complicated and fascinating musical legacy. And the same is just as true of her personal life. These are the stories of her ex-husbands. Late Irish singer Sinead O'Connor had a roller coaster of a romantic life, which included four different marriages. Although she once said that she identified as a lesbian, she was only ever publicly married to men. And by the time her fourth marriage ended, she was over the idea of love. As she wrote on her website, I will never again associate myself romantically with anyone, as I could not bear to see these things done again to someone I love. Of course, I have my children, family, and friends, so I am happy enough and will be my old self in a matter of days, for which I make no apology." O'Connor first said I do in 1989 to award-winning record producer John Reynolds. A couple years before they got married, their son Jake was born in 1987. But their union didn't last long, as they divorced in 1991. After the split, they seemed to remain amicable, and they even continued collaborating, but things weren't always so happy between them. In May 2016, O'Connor went missing in the suburbs of Chicago, although she was found days later. She then went on to admonish her ex and her son for abandoning her for being suicidal. As she wrote in an open letter on Facebook, "...you tell that evil son of ours that a person who suffers from two f***ing medical conditions, of which the symptoms include suicidal compulsion, isn't being manipulative if while he is being a f***ing chauvinist bully like his grandfather, they say they're going to or feel like killing themselves." Despite that episode, it's worth noting that Reynolds describes himself on his website as one of Sinead O'Connor's staunchest supporters and collaborators. What's your relationship with your kids like? Brilliant. Great. All good. In February 2001, O'Connor met journalist Nick Summerlad, and they then tied the knot in August of that same year. As Summerlad admitted at the time, "...we fell for each other very quickly. Both of us have been out with various people in the past, but we are both very happy now." However, that happiness apparently didn't last long, with their divorce becoming official in 2004. As a source revealed to the Irish Independent, "...they were so hurt that for a long time they kept up a pretense and denied any parting." But Sinead knew this could not last and finally told her friends. She said they were both heartbroken. In July 2010, O'Connor gave marriage another chance with Australian-Irish musician Steve Cooney. They'd known each other since the 80s after she hired him to be the guitarist in her band. But once again, the union didn't last very long, as they decided to split in March 2011. As O'Connor admitted to the Irish Independent, "...Steve is lovely, so it's not his fault but mine. It was an extremely happy marriage. I'm heartbroken about it breaking up." As for O'Connor's final marriage, it ended just as fast as it began. During a wild Las Vegas night in 2011, she tied the knot with Irish therapist Barry Hurridge. Their time together as husband and wife ended just 16 days after they made it official. The singer described the details of her fourth wedding in a blog post, as she revealed. "...within three hours of the ceremony being over, the marriage was kiboshed by the behavior of certain people in my husband's life, and also by a bit of a wild ride I took us on, looking for a bit of a smoke of weed for my wedding night as I don't drink." The marriage was 16 days. We lived together for seven days only, until Christmas Eve. Although O'Connor and Hurridge decided to separate after 16 days, that wasn't actually officially the end of their marriage. O'Connor even considered renewing their vows in 2014, though nothing ever came from that idea. Up until her death in 2023, it's believed that they remained married despite their separation. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255.